Hello and welcome to HD Calx. I'm Rick and in this video we'll have a look at how we can use the memory function to store and recall values on the TI30XS multi-view calculator. To do this we'll use the second function key that looks like this located here, the store and recall key that looks like this located here, as well as the memory slot key that looks like this with all these letters on it, located here. The first thing to know is this calculator has seven memory slots. X, Y, Z, T, A, B, and C slot. When we press the memory slot key, we see that we cycle between them. X, Y, Z, T, A, B, and C. We'll use these examples to show how to store something in the memory slot. So we'll put 5 in the X memory slot here. To start we press the 5, put it on our screen, and then press the STO or store key. We then see an arrow appear pointing to the right, and then we press the memory slot key to cycle to the memory slot we wish to use. There we go, we want to put 5 into X, and we press enter. We see 5 on the opposite side of the screen, and our 5 has now been stored into the X memory slot. Next, let's put 10 into Y. So again, we put 10 on the screen, hit the store key, and then cycle through. And if we keep pressing it, we get to other slots. So we can cycle all the way to Y, press Enter, and there we go. Our 10 has now been stored in the Y slot. To recall these values, we use the memory slot key. To get the X value back, we just hit the memory slot key once, see the X on the screen, and we can press enter, and yep, there's our 5. To recall our Y, we cycle to the Y, press enter, and there's our 10. You can view your memory slots by hitting the second store key, which is the recall function, and that brings you to this menu here. Here we see x is equal to 5, y is equal to 10, and the rest have 0 in them because we haven't saved anything in there. You can overwrite a saved value by saving a new number into it. So for example, if we put 6 into the x slot and store that, when we went to check our values, we see we now have 6 in our x. If we want to clear all our variables, you can use the second function of the memory slot key by pressing second, and then the memory slot key brings us to the clear variable menu. Number one is yes, so we press enter, and now when we look at our recall menu, we see zeros for all our variables. The memory functions can be extremely helpful when doing long or complex equations. An example of this would be doing a Pythagoras equation to solve a triangle. Let's say we were given this triangle with two known sides and wanted to solve for the third. Well, we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared and can be written like this. So if we have two known sides and we call this our a side, and this our b side, we can solve for our c side. So let's store the 4 as our a side. Again, place the 4 on the screen, hit the store key, and then cycle till you have the a memory slot. You can use any slot, but a is easy to remember in this case. All right, 4 into a, press enter, there we go. And then our b is 3, so again, place 3 on the screen, store, cycle to B, and press enter. Let's now solve our equation. Well, to start, we want to do it in this format because this is easy. So we'll do square root of A squared plus B squared. 
We start with the square root. And then we place our a in there. a squared plus b squared. There we go. And if we hit enter, we get a result of 5. So a squared plus b squared, all square rooted, is equal to 5, which is correct. And now if we wanted to save that, we could store that result in our memory slot as well. So if we press store, cycle to our C, and store that just so we have it. We can then double check it's in there with the recall value. And there's our A, B, and C values. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.